Now you can notice at the center there is a very clear division. Is that white line that divide this scheme into two? Now on the left of this line, there are all the small disease. You may have, they come, they go, they come, they go. But when you pass the white line, then something happened. You enter into chronic disease. And chronic disease also alters the states and the structures of the cells. Alter. And this is how, this is progress, from left to right. But of course, we know how to go back from disease, in we, any stage, back to normal. When you pass the white line, of course, it will take longer time. And this is what we know nowadays about the system biology. So on top we have the system science. And we have analysis, we have a modeling concept, we have synthesis. Most of the modern and western medicines is based on information. That means statistics. The doctor look at you, you become a number. And they try to put into a kind of box. Okay, you must have this. And then we have the life science. And life science is the one that works, the more natural one. Yeah, you can see something uh, about, very interesting. And this is the antechambers of the second part of my speech. Now, you see, there are three concentric circles. Spirit, mind, body. And this is what you are. Now, you may be confused by the word spirit because there is too much speculations about this word. But if I call it energy, make more sense for you? Yeah? Can you see the electricity? Yes or not? You can see only when it's transformed in light, then you see the electricity. But inside the socket, you cannot see the electricity. So, Let's put it in this way that spirit is our energy. And this energy pervades all our cells. Now, when you die, what's happened to this energy? The finish? It cannot finish. One of the physics principles say that you cannot destroy energy, you can only transform energy. So for sure we know that our body produces 
very small little electrical energy. But of course, much more that we cannot measure with our today tools. And now we go, uh, go to the next one. Okay, now we go to something that is more easy for you to understand when I talk about the global concept about health. On top we have the environment. It means where you live and with whom you live. Then we have this strange word, GRS. GRS is the ground regulating system. Now, if I cut you with a knife, what will happen? What will happen? Ah, oh, bleeding. You bleed because there is some liquid inside your body, isn't it? Yes or not? That's almost 80% of your body is water. All the trillions of cells that make our self humans float in oceans that we call ground regulating system. It's here that all disease happens. When this ocean is polluted, you get sick. And then we have what we call the modern medicines, PNEI. P stands for psycho. N stands for neuro. neuro. E stands for endocrine. E, endocrine. And I stands for immune. So as all systems, that is your psyche, psyche that means your humoral states, your humors, your, your feelings, your sensations. Your nervous systems. Nervous. The nervous system is the pathway through which all the information travels from top to bottom. The endocrine system is the system that creates the hormones. Hormones. And what are hormones for? Hormones are messengers. And travels in our body to deliver information. And finally, we have the immune systems. Yeah. Without the immune system, you will not survive. Now, in modern medicines, we are so specialized, and this, the doctors are doctor for stomach, doctor for feet, doctor for brains. They consider only the organ that is sick. All the other parts know their business. Now, this is something very interesting that we discover in uh, biochemicals uh, research. For example, when you are angry, the angers will influence very much the productions of vitamin B6, magnesium, and zinc. Magnesium, zinc. So when a patient is angry and come to visit me, that's the first things I give to them. Mainly zinc. And after two weeks they say, oh, I feel much better. 
that of course is not the solution. Is indeed. Yes or not? Where is the solution? Not becoming angry. And then your body will be able to intake zinc from a lot of food that contains zinc. Now let me talk about uh, toxins. Uh, we have several kind of toxins that we have to deal with. We have chemical toxins. All the chemicals you use for cleaning your house, for example. Uh, petrol that you put in your cars is chemical and is toxin. Then we have a food, diet, toxic. Mm. Then we have drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs are also toxic because they have a lot of side effects in your body. Then we have the insidious toxins. Insidious. Hidden toxins. What you cannot see. Your mobile phone. Is toxic. Wi Fi is toxic. Monitors are toxic. Monitors. Yeah. Everything that you don't see and is pervading our environment is toxic. And of course, the last one are the psychotoxin. Now, for example, if you keep thinking, ah, that will not work, that will not work, it's no good, it's no good. Then at the end you will be intoxicated. And these, these thoughts will have a clear influence on your biology. That means what you think influence your biology. And we can prove it in laboratory, influence your biology. Okay, here there is something about the food. All food that is can uh, process it, lost is vital properties. Properties. Properties, qualities. That you keep eating. And these are the insidious toxins. You can see all here. Trains, radio stations, 